Hundreds of residents from the surrounding villages and towns began to gather at around 9 a.m. BST in preparation for the procession. Okay. Wait a minute. Is that... Whoa, Jesus. Okay. Ho, <laughs> ho, Look at that. Hey! I found a thing. Does that go... on there? Alright. Um, it seems to me we've had a couple of different, uh, tenancy agreement. Dear Mr. Bell, thank you for bringing back the tenancy agreement. Your six-month lease will start next Monday, but feel free to move in whenever suits you best. I know it's only a small space, but it's close to the workshop and you get a nice view of the harbor. Also, it's quite handy for electricity if you still want to run cables down to the workshop basement. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, we've had a couple of codes go by. 9-11 was for the time capsule, and 1513 was for the crow's nest safe. But was there another, there was another one that I can't remember. Uh... Let's say. Sound. I stand and look out of my window at the top of my stairs, overlooking the lighthouse and the buoys that bob away in the harbor. I feel like I am at my most content and thoughtful. The sound in the distance inspired me to explore different tones with the machine. When I stand here and simply watch, I feel like I am close, unfathomably close to that great discovery. I wonder if we're supposed to duplicate the tones from outside. This looks important. Um, in the, on the bells. I wonder if that's the idea. Alright. Um. Where was it that had... Uh, stand by while I find... Jesus. Um. <laughs> stand by while I find that other place that had a, um, a code in it. Unless... I could swear that Phyllis said she was storing documents for me in the case. But I don't know where they are. Grr. Phyllis! Jesus, someone's moving furniture up. Stairs. That wasn't there before. Huh. Okay, that's new. Uh. Interesting. Damn it, Phyllis. Where the fuck? Did you put my shit in here? Maybe. Oh, wait, right, here we go. Okay. 0427. Right. Which was in Alexander Graham Bell's work. Okay, alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. Guys, I know what's going on. What was it? 0427. Alright, alright, alright. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. We got something. I don't know what it is exactly, but we got it. 0427. Pictures. Alright. 0427. Hey, there we go. Another one of these bastards. What the fuck? He eats your skin and leaves nothing but your bones. Andrew said with a sinister tone in his voice. That's rubbish, said Rob, sounding a little unsure of himself. Dad works in the mine every day, and he, he he's never said nothing. Oh, no, asked Andrew. Why don't we go see for ourselves, then? If you're so sure. Because we'll get grounded. Mom said we're not allowed at the docks, even when it's daylight. 
No, you're not allowed at the docks. I'm the oldest, and I'm saying it's okay. We just won't tell anyone. I don't know, Andy, said Rob. Well, I do. Get your coats. We're going now. Okay. I do not understand what's going on with uh, these little figurines at all. But there we go. All right. Uh, cool. So did that give us our uh, projector here? No. Mm -hmm. I bet we have to do something with the bells. It took five months Whoa. and two lots of pocket money to buy such a beautiful music box. Only fair that it should spend a little time in each person's house. Uh. Okay. I got a save point for that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. It's progress. It's progress. Let me go hear the bells here again, see if it's something I can duplicate. Oh, no, it's those things out there, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. In that case... I don't actually know what's going on here. He said something about listening to the tower bells and fuck me, fuck me. The most inconvenient locking system, Alexander. Alright, what's going on here? Stand and look out of my window at the top of my stairs. Is that this window? Not really much to see. Ah, hell, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, uh, huh, game crashed there, so let's uh, try going outside again. Uh, that thing down there, that lock thing of some sort. All right, uh, let's go back outside. Go down this way. I can't remember. Oh, hey, another ribbon. Phyllis is going to come back to us. Ooh, alright, this looks promising. We haven't been up here before. Hello, Dr. Edmund speaking. No, everything is coming along as expected. He's showing some good progress. I know, but... Yes, I understand. I'll send the results as soon as possible. That was observations. The board are expecting results soon. We simply can't miss this deadline. I'm doing everything there should I can. only be one more memory fragment in this area that we need to find. Please don't let me down like the others did. No pressure or anything, jeez. Alright, uh, this appears to be locked. I don't know if we're supposed to be able to get through there at some point. And we got these little boat things chilling down here. Can we... Oh, oh Jesus! Motherfucker. Okay, okay, alright, I'm leaving. Shit. Wow, that scared the fuck out of me. All right. Um. Right. 
I guess that answers the question of what happens if you uh, don't, if you walk out into the water. Jesus. All right. Uh, let's. Uh, where haven't I been yet, guys? I'm wondering about this red rope thing too. I don't know if that's significant in any way. Where was it leading to? To this building here. We've been in there before, though. God damn it! I am so confused. Is that another ribbon? It is. Ha ha! Have we not gone in this building yet? I think perhaps we have not. Is there a door we can? Oh ho! Looky here. Looky here. Uh huh. I bet that goes to the uh, crow's nest safe that we still haven't found. Phyllis, look. I did a good job. Remember, Restorer, I will not let you project back to the real world until our goal is reached. Don't worry about what's happening on my end. I'll make sure you're safe. As long as you help me, I'll help you. And we'll get through this in one piece. Now, when you're ready, come back to the case and let's access the first core memory of this evening. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Not finished. I haven't done all the things. Mm. Oh, well. Uh, alright, I guess we'll go do the core memory then, because I really don't know what else to do here. I'm sure I'm missing something obvious, but... Eh. Oh well, I think, I think I'll be able to come back. So, we'll figure it out in the meantime. Okay, Restorer. It's time to venture into our first core memory. Oh. I can't contact you when you're inside, so good luck. When you're ready, activate the music box and step through the doorway. Okay. I'm very nervous. <laughs> All right, in we go. Mm. if I said I absolutely wanted to do this, but hey. We know Phyllis won't let us out until we- Hey! I have hands! What is going on? This is... troubling. Supposed to take pictures. Whoa. Okay. Oh my Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> oh, surprise! Help me. birthday party we're remembering here? I can't run, this is annoying. I guess we gotta... Okay. This 
is weird. Phyllis, I want to go home. I want to go home, Phyllis. Birthday cake. Oh my gee, no! What? Whoa, frame rate. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stop. Stop. Stop doing that. God damn it. This is a bad time. This is not a good time. There could be something sneaking up behind me. Alright, that's a little better. Uh. Stop. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Give me a second while I uh, figure this out. Okay, we seem to be back. Um, guys, this is weirding me out. I don't know what's going on. Or what I'm supposed to do. Do I just go back out and, like, have Phyllis pass judgment on my god damn it pass judgment on my pictures like Professor Oak okay this game's freaking out are you serious stop it come on just hold out long enough just for let me finish this and then we'll be done and then you can rest it's okay I just really need to get through this I think I've gone through every door in here so So I think we're going to try just walking back out again and see if finds me wanting. I took pictures of all the so, things. How, how was it in there? Creepy. I can see from the evidence you gathered that the memory showed strong emotional readings that point to a pleasant memory. Then again, even happy memories can be locked away for good reasons sometimes. There are at least two areas close by that hold memory fragments. These should lead us to more core memories, and hopefully the artifact. From my notes, it seems that you'll need to follow the river further up the valley, and see what we can access there. We best get to move on. Okay. Oh, that's probably that uh, locked gate that we uh, that we couldn't get through before, because that was going up the river. All right, but um, I'm going to need to pause here for right now. Um, next time, maybe we will explore and try and get um, some more of those puzzles figured out in the harbor, um, or maybe we'll go. Uh, just keep going after the core memories. Um, in any case, I hope you guys are really enjoying this LP. As always, please comment and subscribe, and I will see you all next time for more of Ether 1. Bye.